Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And uh, so I had confirmation that as soon as the uh, production units start, I will be receiving one of those somewhere in August or maybe even September, depending on how long it takes. Now, there's two, it's, it's interesting to think about this radio, first of all, because a lot of people see this as a waste of, you know, resource and trying to do something different, but using the same case. I got not much of a problem with the fact they're using the same case. I think they're using, I think it's wise because they're using a winning combination. I think a lot of people get this radio because they find it extremely beautiful and they think it's the greatest radio in the world uh, just by the looks. And that's it. And so I think they're playing with, they know this radio can, you know, sell just because of its sex appeal, basically. But the things that I do understand of a lot of users, Texan is using a lot of its, you know, kind of recycling technology, if we could say. Uh, you look at the display, the display is, you know, Texan standard display. It doesn't offer much more than its display that was already available. And so, you know, by doing this, it reduces costs. So they don't have to redesign a case. They don't have to redesign, for the most part, the display. And it does save them money because they don't have to redo all of that. Um, but for a lot of people, it's not necessarily a good thing. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, if they were to do something new, why didn't they go into SDRs? Or I think they're just trying to use what they have, use the technology they already have and own to, you know, sell more and more radios, and that's it. Um, I understand the the comments and the the, the people that are, you know, saying, well, you know, this is kind of sad. Why aren't they using something new? Why aren't they really doing something amazing? Um, for one thing, this probably doesn't have RDS. That display will not be, you know, showing characters. Uh, things like that, which, of course, miss on Texan. We all say it all the time that no RDS on Texan radios is kind of sad. It'd be fun to have it, but nope, they're not going there. Because uh, they probably have to redesign a new uh, display, and they don't want to. There's a lot of things like that. So, in 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 fact, for the people that are complaining about why are you doing this, and especially if it's going to be expensive, um, I I totally understand because it's kind of recycled technology, and we already have radios that you know. I expect this radio personally to probably act and work like a Texan PL990 or a Texan H501X um, and in a case that looks like the you know the S2000 that they sold before so and, and in essence the good thing is that this radio finally could and might probably be great if they do it well where it was just very average and, and you know had so many flaws in the original version um, that you know, there's a few things like that that I think they are going for, making it a good radio and seeing how well it's going to sell. And I bet you it's going to sell quite well, too. And they're going to have airband, because apparently this is radio is going to have the airband. So if they have the VHF airband, you know, it's going to go and get the audience that it they want to. But uh, in essence, when people complain about how, you know, they could have gone further and done something completely new and um, a lot of people talk about a portable with, a, you know, a waterfall display and a, a portable SDR, basically. Um, yeah, absolutely. So it would have been nice to see a company go there. Um, you know, a company that I would probably see going there is much more a company like Shoyung that already has the smart radio, which is completely, you know, new. And it's it's refreshing to see a company that's just trying something we haven't seen before. Uh, this is something we've seen. And except for the fact that it's going to be in a big package, a big radio, um, that looks good. It isn't offering, and it will probably not be offering, anything more 
than what we already have on the market. And that is true. Um, now, this is going to be nice to test. We're going to see how it performs, uh, if it has any bugs. And uh, what we'll be mostly looking at is, is this a good radio? And is this um, is the single sideband stable enough in the higher frequencies? If they could fix that and have that perfect, well, you know, it's going to be a good radio. But, yeah, it's still just recycling um, you know, a recycling <laughs> a box and recycling a display and recycling a lot of things. Uh, in essence, it could be, you know, just a Texan PL990 with added uh, VHF airband. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens and how it performs anyways. Um, and hopefully the quality is going to be there because mine, uh, the, uh, the tuning knob here doesn't work anymore. And I mean, I've had the radio for a pretty short time, a year and a half, maybe two years, not even. And that tuning knob doesn't work anymore. I just got to punch in the frequencies that I want to go through because that just stopped working. Uh, I hope that quality will be better. If we enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.